Hey guys, good morning. Happy Thursday morning. I uh, hope all is well with you and your world. Uh, it's definitely well with us. We uh, capped off tonight last night going 3-1. and one. Really excited about that. Almost uh, had an opportunity to go 4-0, and oh, but uh, didn't quite get it done. But hey, 3-1 uh, and one is uh, still uh, an amazing job over here and uh, just a really great job by everybody and, and uh, you know, over here at Enough Said Sports. And we're... Um, we're getting it going and, and uh, definitely feels good to be on the winning side of things and just continuing the momentum and uh, continuing our role. So uh, we're going to keep on keeping on here. Uh, but I want to talk to you, recap a series here uh, between the Atlanta Hawks and the New York Knicks. Uh, start with the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Um, congratulations to the Hawks. Uh, they uh, made me incorrect on the on the series prediction. Uh, I did get this game right. I woke up and sm smelled the coffee um, and uh, definitely switched my pick after uh, watching four games in this series and seeing that the Knicks were just, for whatever reason, overmatched. And um, the Hawks did a tremendous job. Trey Young, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with him. I'm really impressed with this young Hawks team in general. Uh, I thought they played uh, really great uh, the entire series. Uh, did a great job from the three-point line. They shot it really well. They made all the right plays. They didn't turn it over a ton. Uh, they played really good defense on the Knicks, uh, and they were just able to take advantage of them. They were able to get open shots, and uh, they just did a great job. And so I'm super, super impressed with this young Hawks team uh, as they move forward to face the Philadelphia 76ers. I will do a series preview on that series here in a little bit. Uh, but uh, just really impressed with them. So congratulations to the Atlanta Hawks and that organization. Uh, they a nice job rebuilding, uh, and they definitely have something uh, working there with uh, young, young Ice Trey, uh, Trey Young. So uh, very good on their part. Uh, real disappointed in the New York Knicks. Um, you know, not necessarily that they lost this series, but just the way that they lost this series, considering how, how equal they were, uh, record-wise with the Atlanta Hawks and how equal, you know, they seem to be uh, when you when you study this matchup on paper. Uh, the Knicks seem like they should have the edge. Um, Julius Randle uh, played great all year. RJ, RJ Barrett, uh, Obi Toppin played really well. Um, and uh, Derrick Rose, of course. And they just seem to really have a strong, defensive, young, strong team. And uh, they just didn't get it done. And uh, it's just real unfortunate. Uh, that they weren't better, but uh, you know they got they got more more questions than answers right now um, on that team, and and I just don't know what the heck happened to them because they were just so much better than that all year, and uh, it's just a, a wonder. You just don't know. It's just one of those head scratchers, and uh, it's unfortunate. So, with all that being said, guys, you know uh, for the Knicks, it was it was good to at least see them get back in the playoffs. So that was that was cool. They did get one win. Um, they should have gotten a whole lot more, probably, um, but they uh, they just didn't didn't wasn't able to make it work. So the outlook on them is, you know, they're going to have to get another piece. They're going to have to get another uh, another player um, on that roster. And uh, the way that the uh, Clipper series is going, maybe you might get Kawhi Leonard. Um, you know, you put Kawhi Leonard on this team, you probably uh, definitely have a threat in the Eastern Conference there. Uh, even though I, I don't like his intangibles a lot of times, it certainly would uh, put this team in a different uh, stratosphere if you get a guy like that. So I don't know if that will happen or not. Uh, we'll see. But uh, definitely the Knicks need, need something uh, for sure going into the offseason. So thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know what your opinion was on this series. Uh, as always, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, we're going to keep on keeping on, keeping on putting money in your pocket. And uh, we will uh, catch up with you here in a little bit. I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos today because i got to do some series previews and uh, all that good stuff. So I will talk to you guys soon. Later.